USC women's basketball has an identity that transcends the sport, with two national titles and some of the greatest names in hoops history. Michael Cooper aims to bring that championship legacy back to the women of Troy. The head coach needs no introduction. A champion player with the Lakers and coach with the Sparks, Coop puts the program under a new spotlight. That's one reason that I, I took the job, is I want to bring back the 83-84 championship teams and knowing that the, the women of Troy have been champions, there's no reason for them not to become that again. The current roster is highlighted by multi-dimensional talents in the mold of the head coach, like thousand point scorer Brianna Gilbert. She has already garnered attention as one of the conference's top defenders, but she's not satisfied. The junior is asserting herself as a captain and embracing every challenge. Sometimes they need me to be a voice and they need me to encourage them or get on them whenever they need it in practice or in the game. Um, you know, be that vocal person, but sometimes they need me to be a leader by example. And if that means, you know, everybody's down on each other, whatever, we go into the game and we need a bucket, that means, you know, maybe I should get it or maybe I need to get a steal or whatever it may be. Or in practice, maybe I need to be the one that works the hardest and pushes everybody. You know, you know Bria is a, a tough task for us because, again, we're asking her not only to score, but be a defensive stopper. And, and she's a defensive player of the year last year, and, and I think with that title comes a lot with it. Cooper has designs on making the postseason immediately, but his future focus is on finding and developing multidimensional talents like sophomore Christina Marinacci. Well, one of the things that Pat Riley always talk about is if you can play multiple positions, the more uh, minutes you get to spend uh, on the floor. And again, I think that's what Chris has done for us, uh, being able to play the three a little bit. Uh, the luxury I have for her is that there are games that I can start and some games that I think she'll benefit us coming off the bench. My role as a player for this team is to come and bring energy. So just being able to do that from the start of the game instead of coming in after the team's already you know, developed a certain style of play or pace of the game or anything. The fact that I can come in at multiple positions and you know, get my minutes and stay on the court and everything like that is really important because I just love being out there, I love playing. The women of Troy have a clear goal to make the NCAA tournament field. They narrowly missed last year's madness after blowing a home contest to Washington State, which won just three Pac-10 games. They are focused this season on defending their home court. We just don't underestimate anybody anymore. I mean, last year we lost to Washington State, which was probably the reason why we didn't end up getting in the tournament. We just have to come out no matter who we're playing, play our game and play hard and play together. The women of Troy are undefeated at Galen and four of their six losses are to ranked foes. They have learned the lessons from their past and are ready to attack the future. I think the most important thing about a, a season, whether uh, no matter whether you're playing professional or here in college, is that you have to take care and handle your business at home. And I think that's the one thing that we went out is you, you win your games at home that you have and then you take your chances out on the road. Uh, right now, we've done our part as far as being 7-0 and now we got to go out on the road and hopefully we can at least go 500 out there and that'll give us the kind of record that we want at the end that uh, the committee will be happy about and saying that USC needs to be in the tournament. Coming up on March to Madness, Kevin O'Neill and the men of Troy are looking for some roadkill in the desert. <laughs>